Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Olas or Three Olas, whichever one you want to call me. Now, today we're going to talk about the 6K, the way of the 6K. Yes. Now, I don't see many bikings do this as much, um, I, except me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Anyway, first off, the 6K can give you three benefits to Oki, um, all depending on what you do with it, and it creates a illusion, right? Because of, of how active it is, sometimes the opponent might not do anything at all, right? And if they do do anything, you can just fight feet, right? Because you're so plus, right? Anyway, guys, this is going to be the first one, which is going to be the super wall break. Now, you guys know that you can't do a jump in, right? Can't, you can't do a jump in a JH on your Oki when it's a wall break on super, right? Now, the great sub for that is 6K. Reason being is that 6K is safe on width, right? It's safe on width, right? And you get two bars immediately right and then you can just rinse and repeat over and over rinse and repeat so it doesn't really matter right now this is great because it creates an illusion where the opponent can't tell if the 6k is still active when it's coming near them right so the three things that it gives off here is that it's safe on whiff right it's meaty so if they don't do a dp or they just just block um you're plus three right as long as you time it correctly you're plus you're plus three right and thirdly um you can get a free throw in right as long as you do the timing correctly for the 6k you can do a free grab right I'll try to show y'all. If they just block, but by the time they wake up, your your frames are pretty much gone, right? So then you could just grab them, right? So that's three benefits on doing the 6K on the super wall break. Now, the second option is the B and B, uh, power dash cancel, right? Now, there's a trick to it. Right? Yes, I know you, you're going to be losing damage. Yes, that's fine. Fair enough. Right? That's a good argument. But hear me out. Hear me out. Now, what if you do it and you get a free hit? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're plus. You're still plus. It doesn't matter. You did a whole power cancel that you can't even control into 6k. Then doing 5p. You're plus. You're, you're still plus. You're like plus 3 or 4. One of those things. One of the R plus 2. Right? Because you can't do close flash. Right? If they do a move that is like frame 3 on, on startup or frame 4. You're not gonna win if you do a close slash, right? So you always do 5p, which is fine, right? Because you can just rinse and re you can rinse and repeat it over and over, right? Depending on the height. Now, this this route, or I would say this this setup, is height dependent. Meaning, if you do it super low to the ground. It is not good because then they can just throw you, right? Now check this out. See what I mean? If you do it too low to the ground, they're gonna throw you, right? So make sure you, you get them at a height where it won't matter if they try to throw you you're still plus, right? Now, 
cool. This song is okay. All right, this song is okay. Now check this out. Be on pro still, right? There you go. There you go. It is height dependent. It is height dependent. Now, the reason why it's height dependent is because once you do the 5K, they are still in in recovery frames, right? So now when you do the coward dash cancel, right? You're, you're pretty much killing those frames for yourself, right? So you do the coward dash cancel, you do the 6K. By the time you do the 6K, they're already up, right? So yeah, if you 5K them too low to the ground, they're pretty much good to go. You, on the other hand, is still stuck in recovery frames, right? So just a heads up, all right? So it's height defense. You probably gonna get this on every single big body because they're they're big bodies, right? Um, medium medium sized bodies, you could you could get it on most of them, but not all of them. Um, and the lightweights, good luck trying to get that to work on them. Um, it's pretty rough trying to get it to work on them. No, let's say you didn't get them at the correct height. Now, if you don't get them at the correct height, you can jump, right? You can jump. Now, that is a good option, right? If you think you can uh, trick your opponent, condition your opponent to, to grab on wake up, the next option is back dash. Right, you can back dash it, right? Do a little shimmy, right? Get a counter hit, big combo, boom, that's it, right? No, what about if they do a DP, right? If they do a DP, you're still, you're, you're still safe. Right? Still save, big damage. Yeah. Right? No. What if they don't do a DP and you just wait there? Well, you're not gonna be waiting there because you're gonna be buffering the 5P. And what I mean but what I mean by that is when you're still in the recovery frames or the active frames of 6K, you can buffer the 5P to come out whenever you finish with the recovery frames of 6k right so if they try to dp you can just pull back right you can just stop buffering because by that time one is going to choose the priorities either going to be holding back or 5p right so let me show y'all see over there you see over there where you can see the two the uh, uh, two lights. Yeah, that's me buffering the five P, right? So it's a good it's a good option. It's a good option. Now last, this one is pretty much the um, the parry, right? Cow. Now this one, I don't see many people do this at all. I see everyone do like close slash, um, right? You can do 6K here, right? You, you can get like a safe width and you're still plus here, but yeah, pretty much you're safe on width and you can bait out DPs, you can bait out grabs. Now if they try to grab you, I think I dashed up too much. All right? You can just bait it out, right? Now, if they try to do a button, you 
looking at a, a MIDI 6K, right? So pretty much you've got options with the 6K. There's many more, right? But I'm not gonna do that one for this video. It's probably gonna be a different video. Um, probably advanced because I'm not too sure on it fully, but sometimes in matches I can do 6K into Geish as a block as a as a block string and I'm still plus. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why is that. So I'm not gonna do like a full video on that. Right? But anyway guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Tell me what you think down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.